Hey guys, Cody here with Import Image Racing, and we have been quiet for way too long now. And that is because we have been working on some really cool, exciting stuff, and I can't wait to bring you guys in and show you. All right guys, now I'm super excited to show you our new product line called Printed. We 3D print all these parts here in-house at Import Image Racing, and I can't wait to show you guys some of the stuff we're coming up with. So if you have a 2022 BRZ, you're gonna see your factory defroster vent right up here. Now, depending what you're doing with the car, you may want to leave it alone or you may want to modify the car and start doing crazy stuff with it. If you start to modify the car, you may want to start monitoring what's going on. You may want to check out your air fuel ratio or, you know, maybe you're planning on turboing the BRZ and you want to keep track of your boost. And so we have the solution today in the form of our printed vent pod for the BRZ. This thing is super cool and the install is fairly simple. All we're going to do is remove our factory vent. You can do that with a pry tool or you can actually do it with your finger. It's not in there very tight. So we can take our fingers in between the vent and actually just pull up on it and pop it right out. It's really that easy, guys. And so the install of the new part's gonna be fairly simple. You're gonna see this little wishbone bracket on the bottom and that's what we're gonna use to install this and tighten it down. Now what I've found to be the easiest way to install this is to put one side of the wishbone down in first and then sort of come around with the other side. So put the one side down in, sort of pinch it down, and it'll snap into place. And honestly, without even tightening down the screws, this thing is super tight in there. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and move this out of the way and start to tighten down these screws on the bracket. You don't need to go crazy, just get them snug. Now, once you have them tightened down, the mount is in. And at, from this point, you can basically decide what gauge that you wanna put in this thing. All right guys, so I've decided to bring it into the driver's seat so you can see what this thing looks like. Now, this thing is removable so you can remove the pot itself. You can drill any holes that you need to to run wires through. We have decided not to drill any holes in this thing though because you know we don't know what your setup is, we don't know what gauges you're running. So we didn't wanna cut a hole and then it'd be too big or too small and you have to modify it anyway. So you will have to decide you know what gauges you're running and drill your own holes for the wires. But that's nice because then you know, you could drill it on the back side or you could drill it underneath and it kind of fists the wire down through the vent or anything that you wanted to do to get it how you want it. So this thing will hold any 52 millimeter gauge. So we have this 52 mil Pro Sport boost gauge. We're gonna go ahead and just slide that into place. And just like that, we're good to go. Now we can adjust the angle anywhere that we want it. Once we have our angle adjusted, we can actually go ahead and tighten down the Allen key bolt on the side of this thing. And then your gauge is installed. So as the driver sitting forward, this is what the gauge looks like. It's very easy to read. It's pointed directly at me. And so I can very easily see what's going on. Now there may be minor discrepancies in certain gauges and the way they fit in the pod. And the way to alleviate that is actually to, as simple as it is, wrap a little piece of tape around your gauge pod. So if the gauge that you have, this one actually fits really snug and it doesn't move. If you get an aftermarket gauge that does not fit perfectly snug, you can just go ahead and pull it out. You can wrap one or two layers of tape around the outside and then put it back in and it should be nice and tight. Well guys, that is it for our printed gauge pod install. As you can see, we have a pretty clean OEM style finish. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today's install video. I hope you enjoyed. And again, expect more of these printed products to be coming out very shortly. We already have a few in development and some that are already made, and we just gotta do a little bit of media on them. So, so just keep your eyeballs peeled and expect to see some cool stuff coming your way. We'll see you guys again in the next video.